Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today I'm answering a Dear Ruth Teresa question. The question is, Dear Ruth Teresa, what actually is a medium? So I really think that's a really interesting question. And like I said, when I got asked something similar not too long ago, I was kind of like, oh, this is kind of interesting. I've never really kind of put it into words uh, because most people have an idea or an understanding of what a medium is. And so <clears throat> a medium is someone who can kind of fine tune their energy, their extra sensory perception energy um, to be able to communicate with the other side. Now, some are only able to communicate with ghosts. Some are able to communicate with ghosts and angels. Some are only able to communicate with ghost angels and archangels. Now, it just depends on their energy, and as their abilities amp up, they may be able to reach different people. So if people, uh, someone was only able to reach a ghost at one point, may be able to be able to fine-tune their energy to get connected to an angel. And then eventually that ability could also grow, and so they can now also communicate with archangels. And that's just kind of what a medium is. I often tell my clients that really, I'm the telephone. Um, I get paid to be the telephone. So um, I hear a message from the ghost. It comes through me. I hear it, feel it, sense it, any of my abilities, and then I give it to the person. And, and it's kind of an interesting phenomena and kind of cool at the same time is um, when I'm dealing with the ghost and kind of communicating with them, sometimes I can feel how they passed. Sometimes I can feel how they feel about, felt about something like they loved when this happened or they hated when this happened or they didn't like this part or they didn't like this person or whatever it is. Um, and then I can gift it to their family member. So that's a really interesting way um, to be able to kind of be between the two worlds. Um, ghosts connect, um, like I said, in some interesting ways and some not so interesting ways. So that's kind of the interesting part about it is um, some of them come in with a lot of feeling, um, a lot of emotions going on with them. Sometimes they come in and they're almost like there's not really a lot of emotions right away. And that comes like on uh, kind of comes online later on. And, but one of the things that's really important is usually for them, um, the ghost is kind of like, how did I pass? Most people know how you passed. Um, they've done an autopsy or something like that. So they've kind of figured out like the who, what, when, where, why. And sometimes even the ghost is like, all of a sudden I just felt this pain and then I passed and I have no idea what happened. Um, or um, I had a client uh, many, many years ago and um, her aunt lived by herself and um, she was found like a day or so, like 24 hours after she had fallen and, and uh, passed. And so they were always questioning like, did she have a heart attack? Did she feel something or did she just get dizzy and fall down and then couldn't get up or whatever it is? And I was able to gift that information to her family to kind of calm their nerves of kind of like, how did she pass? What was going on? How did she feel about things? And I think that's the most important part um, is that um, you kind of get that, that sense that um, they weren't alone. They usually will tell me like, oh, she was all alone when she passed and um, usually the, per the ghost that passes kind of like, I wasn't alone. I could feel angels and guides and family members. I could feel like, uh, my mom and dad who've already passed or my aunts and uncles that have already passed or my grandparents or whatever else. So they don't feel necessarily alone. We may go, wow, there was no other person in the house with them or in the room with them when they passed. But a lot of times they are definitely not passing alone. There are lots of angels, guides, and uh, family members to support them as they move through that transition time frame to make sure that hopefully they get to the right place at the right time and um, they kind of feel like, oh, I know exactly where I'm supposed to go. So they're usually there waiting for them. So let's pull some angel cards and get us a little bit more information on what does it mean to be a medium? So this is the first two they're popping out. The first one is friendship. Um, a lot of times um, people think it's interesting. Um, I have people like, oh my gosh, I want you to be my best friend. And I'm like, well, 
eventually even my best friends I can't really read for. That's kind of the interesting part is that it's easier, actually easier to read for a, a, an unknown person or someone I barely know than it is to read for someone that I do know. Body care. Um, psychics um, and mediums go through a, a lot of personal care or body care to kind of make sure that they're detaching from the energy of the ghost, make sure they're detaching from the energy of their um, clients, that sort of thing. So we're not staying attached to that energy because that energy can overwhelm us or kind of even um, make us sick or even tired at some point. So that's kind of an interesting one. Dreams. Sometimes um, people that say that they don't really have abilities will have really good dreams. And that's kind of when their ghost can come in and kind of give them their own personal message. Most people have what I call is kind of like the ghost dream. Okay. And that usually happens within a few weeks or a month or so of the person passing. They will come back um, to their family members and let them know like, I know I've passed. I just want to let you know I made it. I'm okay. That sort of thing. And it's to me, I often tell my clients are like, well, I thought something was wrong. And so I came to see you and that sort of thing. And I'm like, not necessarily. Sometimes it's just like a text message, like, hey, I've made it here or a phone call back. Hey, um, just want to let you know I made it because it's really important for them to for you to know that they've made it. It's important for you to know that they're there and that they're with the other family members. And that's kind of the important part. They want to just gift you that message of like, I'm here. I made it. I'm OK. Um, um you know, don't forget about me kind of thing. Uh, blessed. I think this is an interesting card at this one. Um, I um, think it really is a blessing to be able to contact the other side. It really gives me a great deep sense of peace and um, understanding about things that other people may not completely understand or even care to understand. I think that's the important part. Um, knowing that I can connect to my angels and guides and, and bring through information um, calms me down a lot, calms uh, the people around me a lot, and also calms down my clients as well, because usually they're kind of looking for insight, like kind of you know, what's coming up next? Where do I need to go next? Do I need to change jobs? Do I need to do this? Do I need to do that? That's kind of the interesting part. So that's kind of the, hmm, how do we deal with this? How do we work through this? How do we um, deal with this energy all around us all the time? Um, mediums and psychics have to work kind of diligently about constantly cleaning and clearing their energy, um, kind of getting um, the old energy off and kind of being able to kind of take on new energy because if not, it can cause illness or disease, um, not only um, for the medium, but also other people as well. Um, hopefully I've answered your questions. If you have any others, uh, post them beneath and I will get to your dear Ruth Teresa question. I thank you so much for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon.